time to see what life was like in that ancient city. A day spent in ancient Rome would be a very full day, and it would start at sunrise. In these days before electric lights, it was necessary to get everything done while the sun was shining. That meant getting an early start to every day. Since the weather in Rome is warm most of the year, and since they were out when the warm sun was shining, Romans wore garments called tunics that left their legs bare. Most Romans had only one outfit that they wore every day, and it was rarely washed. The wealthy, on the other hand, wore draping pieces of fabric called togas over their tunics. And the most important Roman citizens wore togas with a bold, colorful stripe to make them stand out in the crowd. Finishing off a Roman outfit were sandals made of leather. Not too different from the shoes of today. Roman homes were variations on familiar concepts as well. Very few people had houses of their own. But those who did lived in houses that were built around a big garden and had beautiful works of art painted directly onto the walls. Most people, however, lived in small apartment buildings that were made mostly of wood. So, for fear of fire, residents did not cook inside. They bought food already prepared, usually no more than soup and bread. Some people sat at tables, but most ate sitting on the floor. Mealtime in the homes of the wealthy was a different story. They ate large feasts and were served as they lay on couches. But whether rich or poor, one thing was the same at every meal. There were no forks in ancient Rome. So people ate with their fingers. What I think you'd notice if a time traveler went back would be the smell, the noise, the dirt, the crowdedness. I think there'd be lots of beggars, lots of small children. Traffic was terrible. Julius Caesar forbade wheeled traffic during the day so people could move around, which meant that at night all these carts started going on these stone streets and it was so noisy that you couldn't sleep. All that traffic wore deep ruts into the streets of Rome. You could be in the city of Rome and you could see people who were obviously African, obviously Italian, Gauls, German. All of these people were in fact Roman citizens. And every day the citizens would gather in the most crowded of the crowded places. The Forum. The Forum was a busy square in the center of town where Romans could purchase goods from near and far using Roman coins called denarii. It also was a buzz with orators and politicians holding lively debates and giving speeches. This would all be in the official language of the Roman Empire, Latin. Hearing the speeches of ancient Romans would have been much easier than reading their writings. They didn't leave spaces between words, and they rarely used punctuation. They carefully carved words onto wax tablets, or they wrote with ink on papyrus scrolls that came from Egypt. It is from their writings that we've learned so much about their lives. For instance, we know that the Forum was only one place to visit in ancient Rome. There were also temples for worship, stadiums to watch races, theaters to see plays, and there were baths. The baths had pools of cool and hot water for bathing, but there were also libraries, hair salons, massage parlors, and gardens. The baths were a place to relax and socialize. For the poor, a visit was a rare luxury. The rich would visit every day. These are just some of the many things that we know about the ways that ancient Romans lived.
Because of their detailed writings, their art, and their buildings, we know today of the extraordinary empire that ended centuries ago.